we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're diving back into Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. We are near the very end of the game. We're going to head back to our base camp, Pantalones de Fuego, after we go over here and we talk to the tree. We're going to go to Saren Garden. We're going to get the tree thing. And we're going to go back to town and see if there's anything left to do. Maybe take on the raid. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Whoa, look at the tree. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than it was. The tree of Psyches has grown so much. It's mesmerizing. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's beautiful. So what? So how does one go about receiving this power? Does Donna receive it? No. The power of the Psyches conflicts with providence and natural law. Uh. It exists in direct opposition to the essence wielded by Eternians. Oh. Therefore, I would like to ask you, Adol, to receive the power. Ch sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Thank you. You can do it! Now, face the tree and raise your sword, the symbol of your strength. Well, we are the red-haired swordsman, after all. It's kind of our go-to thing. And red hair and the sword. So. As Adol held the sword, uh, he felt a torrent of power surge into it. Oh. Are we absorbing all these psyches? That's weird. Huh. Ooh. You think it's gonna change the sword or is the sword gonna stay same looking the same? So we'll find out here in a second. Nope, changed it. I thought it was going to. I was right. Sword of Omens! We got the... The Mistiltian. Whoa! So this has the power to stop the Lacrimosa? Mm. Yes. The psyches of species past, and their collective will to live. It seems to have worked. Sweet. What an incredible looking weapon. That's definitely not your average sword. Preparations are complete, Beth. Yes. Let's return to Octus. Sarai is waiting for us. We could do that, or we can go back and talk to people in town. I feel like going to town sounds like a better play. Also, want to try out the weapon on uh, a raid, maybe. That seems exciting Hello? to me. Alright, we are going to head back, as stated previously, to the town. We're at 99.09% .09 complete with uh, the exploration. I, I did pretty good, guys and gals. I think I did quite well with uh, nearly finishing the entire game, 100%ing it, like, in its entirety. Oh? A crystal. It's glowing. What? Did, did we do something bad, or is this good? Oh. What? Doesn't that mean it has the same insignia as the other crystals that let us see into the past? Oh. Okay. That seems deliberate. Are the wardens behind this? Maybe it's a trap. And with the psyches released, a trap seems unnecessary at this point. Can we use this to see your past again, Donna? Um, yes, I believe so. Or perhaps... At all, try viewing the past with this. Did you figure something out? Yes, I think so. I don't think this is a trap. I think it's going to depict a specific moment in time. I want you all to see it. The truth of the Kingdom of Eternia. My feelings as well. What's hap- Oh, what's up, dogs? Perfect timing, Adol. 
What's up, man? We're in a bit of a bind right now. I'm sure you guys are busy right now, but can I talk to you real quick? Sh sure, man. What's up? Got some bad news. Areas we've had control over, such as the Eroded Valley, Shlom Jungle, and the Valley of Kings. They've been taken over by beasts and primordials again. Eh, whatever. I thought we just got those areas under control. Yeah, I think the Lacrimosa might have something to do with this. Psyches are gathering at Serene Garden. If it gets destroyed, M Mistletien, sure, Mistletien will lose its power. The primordials keep reproducing that Shlom jungle and eroded valley. Mm. It's like we have a knife to our throat, so to speak. Yeah, if we're gonna get off this island, we need to keep those areas under control. But you guys to focus on stopping the Lacrimosa. Well, we need your help with hunts in those areas to get things under control again. Of course we'll help you. With such limited time and manpower, we just gotta give it our all. Thanks, that means a lot to us. We're at the end of our rope here, so we need to deal with this now. Well, looks like I have more stuff to do. That's fine. Hm, you're not wrong. But we should still take time to prepare ourselves instead of panicking. Haha, <laughs> haste makes waste. That's important to remember. Where'd you hear that from? Can't argue with that. You're absolutely right. Alright, Adol. Come talk to me once you're finished preparing. We're so close to the end. Let's give this our all. Yeah! Oh, I'm excited, guys. I'm super stoked. Oh my god, we got three different... Ugh. Hey! Finally! This will be our final battle. Make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Excuse me, Adol. Um, if you don't mind, there's a place in the village I'd like to see before we go. <laughs> Sorry, but do you think you can accompany me? Sure. Oh, you haven't been up here before. I'll climb the watchtower with Donna and they took in the view of their surroundings. Sure. Fortunately, there were no signs of any primordials. So they decided to rest for a moment in the meantime. Even if we manage to stop the Lacrimosa, I still don't know what's going to happen. We've come so far. I've been waiting for this for so long. Look, we'll face it together. <laughs> yes, we will. When the final battle is over, I'm certain we'll stand victorious. Yeah, we will. First, I have to confess something to you. What? Did actually, you... I need to apologize to you. That you're actually cold in your outfit? That's shocking. You and I, we had a fascinating bond. Sure. We shared a consciousness, and through that we were able to travel together too. Through it all, I started to become unwaveringly convinced of something. What's that? that your soul burns brighter than any other soul in the world. At all. I think I was the one who selected you to be the warden of evolution for humanity. Uh, sure. Maybe the reason you're forced to suffer in the future. And yet, despite everything, you're still trying to help me prevent the lacrimosa. Well, you know, death I'm and so dying sorry is that terrible. I forced this burden on you. Well, someone's got to do it. Might as well be me. You don't need to apologize. I'm honored that you chose me. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. Actually, a little embarrassing. Still, we didn't have Mistletine, the Sword of Psyches, Mistletine. like we do now. I'm glad you're the one who received the power of Psyches. In all honesty, I could have volunteered to receive it myself. But I wanted to fight by your side until the very end. Uh, so that's why you're just full of surprises. I don't know if I'd phrase it like that, but in hindsight, you're the best person who could have received it. It's true. This whole series uh, yes. is about me. Adol, I'd like you to have this. What's that? The old seal ring. Ooh. Not sure that's any good, but we have it. It's a keepsake from my mother. It's the reason why I've always felt so compelled to help others. Normally, this ring seals essence. Ah. Uh. I modified it somewhat so you could make use of it, Adol. It would make me happy to see that ring on your hand while you hold that sword. Ooh. Putting a ring on it, huh? All right. Thank you. I will cherish this. I understand. Time to face our fate. Yeah. I'll cherish it. Be a little nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Let's you. Let's fight together, Adol. 
side by side until the very end. Teach me that cool spinny move you do, and we'll, we're, we're golden, girl. Alright, that was cool. Uh, let's go take a look. I feel like I may have to actually put this on. Uh, oh, ho, ho. Yep. 20, or sorry, 30 defense and strength and 30% critical hit rate. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I don't even know what I gave up, but I'm fine with it. Um, oh, so a whole bunch of stuff just happened. Uh, and you have something to say. I found a monolith that dates back to the attorney year. I have a simple favor. Speak to me for more details. Don't we have a monolith shard or something? Yeah, I checked it. Sit, uh, I'll explain it. Alright. Please take a look at this. I believe it's called a monolith. I found it while I was exploring the northern region of the island by myself, and as you can see, half of it is missing. Fortunately, according to Donna, the most important section is still intact. If we can find the rest of it, we can see the information it contains. Hmm, you seem intrigued by this. We'll need Donna's help to analyze the monolith's contents. Fortunately, she said she's willing to help. Despite the current situation, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Eternian culture. So, I'd like you to help me find the other half of the monolith. At all? I'll help you, but I can't promise anything. Okay, I'll look for it. I think I already have it. Thank you, I knew you would say that. Normally, I would help you search for it, but I can't leave the village on my own. I appreciate you helping me out. Like, I'm, I'm like 30% sure I maybe already... Yeah, I already, say, I already thought I already had it. Hmm, this piece should fill in the missing part just so... Didn't we get it on the... On the island with the... Where we found Carlin on the little... The boat that crashed? I feel like that's where we got this from. Could be wrong, though. I appreciate it. Now I believe I'll go and ask Donna if she can tell me what this says. I'll now channel essence into it. That's useful. Oh. Oh, it's like that. Okay. Oh, I see. This is fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> Strange how it still works, even with that big crack run through it. What's it say? Um, this is what's known as the Truth of Eternia. This model of contains information about the Great Tree of Origins and the Three Principles. The Three Principles? It's a philosophy which states that the origin of all things can be traced back to three principles. These principles are the sky, the ocean, and the earth. Hmm. Sounds familiar. What exactly does the monolith say? Uh, let's see. All originated from an abyss, the boundless sky spreading in all directions. In time, rain fell from the sky, giving rise to the ocean. In time, fire spewed forth from the ocean, giving rise to earth and the great tree. By the power of the great tree, life was formed, evolved, and set foot on earth. And life is nourished, er, sorry, nurtured still by the earth. One day, life must return to the sky through the great tree. Thus, life continues the cycle of evolution. That's what it says. So that's what was passed down as the truth of Eternia. Interesting. It almost reminds me of the Thrissium. The Thrithesium? I think I've heard of that before. Hmm, what is it? It's a religion that was in practice that predates the Hieroglyph Church. I believe it was centered around the worship of three gods. Oh, I'm not familiar with it. Of course not. Me neither. The basis of the three principles is sky, ocean, and the earth. The, th the other thing uh, worships three deities. The sky god, the sea god, and the earth goddess. So the sky would be... Was that? An analo analogous to Hor Horu? The sky god. The ocean would be Grathios, the sea god, and the earth would be Maya, the earth goddess. Hmm, Maya, I wonder. Oh, are you familiar with the name? Oh yes, one of the wardens, Hydra, mentioned her to us. Adol told Griselda the story of Hy that Hydra had told them. I see. If he's telling the truth, then the earth goddess once existed long ago. 
There's no way to confirm that is true or not, though. Hmm. Well, I ain't the scholarly sort, so I don't really get all this, but it sounds like that Thrahissiasmums originated in Eternia, yeah? Hmm, there's no way to prove that, but it's an interesting theory. Knowing this, it might be worthwhile to travel the world and uncover the truth. Either way, this is probably all we can determine at this time. Thank you for helping us analyze such a valuable piece of information, Donna. I'm just glad I was able to help everyone learn more about my era. <laughs> As am I. Still, what the Warden revealed to you seems rather cruel. The Great Tree does not perpetuate the cycle of evolution, but the selection and rejection of species. I don't want to accept that world, that the world is sustained by such a process. I'll do whatever it takes to stop it. At all. Yes, we will stop it. I'll do whatever I can to stop it, too. Yes, we can accomplish anything as long as we work together. Yeah, she's right. I agree. <laughs> hm. How inspiring. I believe you will accomplish the task before you. Our future rests in your hands. Of course it does. That's one down! Yeah! Dynasty Formula! I don't know what that's going to do to us, but we have it now! Alright, Griselda, we got to talk. What's up, girl? You may have a moment. Oh, we're out on the, the good view. The view from this height is stunning. I'm sorry to suddenly ask you to accompany me up here. I would like to personally thank you once again. You're welcome. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Would it be? The jewel brooch. I know it's brooch. That's just one of those words that I always want to say it wrong, so I figure I just lean into it. What is this? It's an accessory from my personal mm. collection. One that I thought would suit you best. Brooching it up. Need it, I will not be offended if you choose to sell it after we escape this island. I'll be blunt. What is your opinion of the Roman Empire? Uh, I don't have one. It's a cramped nation. It's a powerful nation. Are you referring to our military might? That's not necessarily something to be proud of. I didn't say you had to be proud With of it. With each passing year, Rom's wars of expansion continue, and her territory grows ever larger. Her desire for conquest shows no signs of waning. What I'm about to tell you, Adol, stays between us. Everybody close your eyes and ears. the attention of certain individuals within the Roman military. Yeah, I know. They might decide to cause trouble for you in the future. Much like what happened in Celceta. Celceta. Please, be careful. I would have called it Celceta for sure. Thank you for your concern. It's very kind of you. Yes. <laughs> you won't get another gift from me by resorting to flattery. I wasn't trying to. I brought you here to thank you. Yet here I am, inspired once again. Hmm. Leo told me that I need to start thinking of ways to establish my influence in Rome. That being said, escaping this island is our top priority. Let's see this task through to its end. Escaping the islands our second priority. Our top priority is stopping the Lacrimosa. Let's be honest and clear here. Everyone dying and us escaping the island doesn't really help us. Uh, we need to forge another armor all the way on down to Leave the it to <laughs> Whew, It's complete. Yeah, we right. good. Oh wait, hold on. What should I Can you upgrade? enhance this thing? Is that it? What should I upgrade? You cannot. Is that Not it? even close. All right, cool. Got it. Um, I guess we go to. We got the crystal. We have raids, and we have hunts to do. Ugh. There's so many things that we need to do. It's kind of absurd. Dogi, what's up, buddy? Let's uh. Can we fortify the village some more. Tell me anything. All right. Looks like we can. All finished. Yay. Stockade. Roger, do that too. All right, the Don Dale horn. Catapult. Can Roger, increase that. 
Can we do it twice All though? Right, it's done. All right, we can do it twice. All right, it's Feels done. pretty good, guys and gals. I mean, I don't. Oh, I, right, I never I care about 100%ing the game. Except in very, 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 very rare occasions. For instance, and maybe my only instance is, of course, we're looking at, um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank here. I'm so sorry, guys and gals. Uh, Disgaea 1, and eventually 5, and all the others. All right, village is fully done? fortified now. Let's begin this raid. I guess I'm prepared. Or we're going to get after it here. The destructive ocean threat. Oh, okay, let's start this. I don't think this is going to go word, well. But I've got it. Our crew's ready. All right, what are you right, bringing? Bring it on. Doggy squad advantage. Dakota, it's your time to shine, girl. Is everyone okay? What is that thing? Oh. Switch! Are you alright? Everyone take care! Leveled up. Come on, is that all you got? Big one coming uh -oh. through. Woo! <laughs> Barely dodged that in time. That was close. Right, down he goes. We got another one up over here. <laughs> Feeling pretty good right now. Our new sword. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah. Dakota, calm down. We got a flash move. We got a regurgitation move there. Yeah, that's about right. We completely annihilated uh, them all. Impressive. Don't underestimate them. All right, Here's I won't. Alright, big old starfish boy is done to <laughs> see ya. What now? Uh oh. Whoa. That was a big hit on this guy. Let's be aggressive. Be e aggressive. Alright, Dakota. Report, battle report. Oh, oh. Ah! Don't bite her. Alright, he's down. I was uh, a little bit more intense. I know I was very quiet there, guys. Gals, I was uh, pretty focused. I'm like, eh, we can't get this guy, and then I'm gonna go switch over to her. And we took some serious damage. It was, it was, uh. Oh, I am awesome! You're pretty good. That's impressive. As it should be. Don't get caught. Is this the final wave? It's not. Surprise! Surprise! I'm on my way. Oh. Have uh, the old uh, tired plant over here. Surprise attack. How does that get a surprise attack? That's weird. So many openings. Now what's going on? Let me help. All right. You're done. Hold on a second. 
second. I tried to hit and then, and then dodge. Did not work. I'll protect my family. We're down. Guess been obliterated in the Some good old jelly oozes will take care of them. I managed to get my flash move off and you guys all split right? second time there. It was real close. Oh, shitty. Oh, there's right oh, another one up there. That stun gun works pretty darn good, honestly. Yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. What level are we? We're 72. Not bad. We gained quite a few levels getting through where we went. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Come on, Dogie Squad. Let's get this thing going. Wave four. Coming your way. Doggy squad struggling! Doggy squad struggling! Everyone take care! Yeah. Yeah. You're done. Big boy over here. Oh boy. Almost down. There we go. All right. You guys all right? I did not flash dodge anywhere that time. I just kind of got molly whops. Ran right on over. Oh, you're a big ugly guy here. Okay, calm down. Nope. All right, let's start fixing. our catapults are doing work too. Don't let him break it again. All right, down you go. Okay, so who else do we have up here? Yeah, that was uh, mildly inconvenient. Ow! Knocked me into my own uh, fortifications there. That wasn't great. I'll protect my family. Oh, oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, two of these guys? Nobody ever want two of these guys? I'll join you. Believe in your weapon. I definitely believe in my weapon, girl. I'm coming. It's got the souls of like 30 different eras. All right, there it is. Oh. Rough stuff again, but we got the eradication bonus. On guard. Let's go. All right, this has got to be the fifth and final wave coming up. I can only assume. <laughs> of course. Hmm. That's impressive. Hmm. Incoming. <laughs> this is wave Leave five. My God. Please watch over. Alright. Alright, what now? You guys doing stuff? Cool. I'll join in. Another one of these. Believe in your weapon. Believe in your weapons. I need help. Good stuff. Alright, obliterated them fine. I'm joining in. 
Action. All right, what now? Battle report. Battle report. Let's go. Don't be slack. Don't be slack. I won't be startled anymore. Oh, we have the starfish of doom here. Okay? All right, both of those guys are down. Wave five cleared. My goodness. How many waves are there? I didn't look. I assume five would have been the absolute max, but I don't think so. Well, you're welcome. Oh, hopefully our crew's good. It's almost over. Ah, here's our final wave. All right, where's the boss coming? Oh, there's no boss. Ow. On my way. Oh, come on, there it is. Next. Another one of these guys. Uh, he got hit pretty hard there. He's probably stunned. Or almost stunned. No, he's not actually. At least we're able to interrupt him. What do we have here? Ah, we got a Rakota special. My turn now. Now what? Coming your way. Everyone take care. Keep trying to dodge, it just does not want to accept. Down you go. Very good. Next. Um, we got this. Add all squad advantage. Uh oh. Doggy squad doing well. All right, let's start fixing it. Don't let him break it again. It's almost everything. Just a little bit left. Good land with the catapult there. All right, what else? Let's be aggressive. Another one of these guys. Kind of the worst. And he is done, and that is that's the game right there. I think. I feel like we did an S rating worth of uh of raid defense here. I feel like we did really good. I don't think anything fell. We just kind of crushed him. Of course. So, we'll see. We'll see what if they agree with me. I Good doubt it. Job, but... yes, well done, Rakota. You too, Laxia. Adol's just like, nah, I ain't gonna say nothing. It's all good. 100% kill rate, under time, and we just crushed it. The keep HP rate bonus should be super nice high. Work, everyone. Get an A for that? Hmm. Oh, God. That's impressive. They, they got a nest. Well, good for them. A little bit bummed out, but hey, I'll take it. There's more. Oh, God, there's more. All right, I'm not doing any more right now. Sorry. All right, guys and gals, that's it for this particular episode. I think what I'll do now is maybe the hunts in the next one, and then hopefully we're strong enough to do that. And then we'll go and we'll see what's up with Donna's crystal and see where that takes us. All right, folks, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.